Hello, everyone. In this uh, video, we'll go through the steps involved in deploying a stateless application using Google Kubernetes Engine. In a previous video, I had uh, explained all the steps involved. So if you haven't watched the previous video, go ahead and watch that previous video. Uh, the link, uh, this tutorial is found in Google website. Uh, so I'll put the link in the YouTube channel as well. Uh, to start with, we need an account in Google Cloud Platform. And also you need uh, to have installed the Cloud SDK as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and start creating a project. So I will go ahead and create a project and I will call this project Nginx. And once the project is created, we'll have a project ID. So, so that is our project ID. So let's copy that, the config value for the project ID. And since I'm in Atlanta, I'm also going to set my region to be US East. Okay, so the next thing what we want to do is we want to create a cluster and we want to create a cluster with three nodes. So I'll go ahead and create a cluster with three nodes. Now it fails because we haven't enabled the Kube, Kubernetes API engine. So let us go ahead and enable it. So let's go ahead and enable the Kubernetes engine API. Okay, the APIs are now enabled. So let's go ahead and run this command one more time. Now it takes a while for the nodes to get created. So I will go ahead and pause the video for now and come back once the nodes are created, the cluster is created. Okay, at this moment, the Kubernetes cluster is created and it is running with three nodes. So we can also run this command g cloud container clusters list to see that it is running with three nodes. Yeah, so it is running with three nodes. So for this uh, exercise, I have uh, three deployment files and I'll show these three deployment files. The first one I have is Nginx deployment file. And here, um, what I have is um, the selector match labels. They, the values do not match with the labels uh, in the spec selector. Uh, so in the spec template labels, the values don't match. Now the API will reject this kind of if there, if it is not matching. So let's go ahead and run it and we'll see that it uh, the API rejects this uh, uh, rejects this uh, deployment. Yeah, so it did reject it. It says invalid value and it says selector does not match template labels. Uh, so this is the expected behavior. We want it to match. Um, so I have another deployment file and you can see here that the values match. Uh, so Nginx, uh, the environment is uh, dev and the labels also match it exactly and I'm running the Nginx 1.7.9 image. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and uh, this should create the deployment. And I'll call this the dev deployment. Yeah, and the Nginx deployment dev got created. I also have another deployment file, the Nginx uh, QA deployment. Now here again, I have the match labels app nginx environment is QA and the labels match it, 
but you can see that I have an additional label uh, specified as well. And this also runs the Nginx uh, 1.7.9 image. Now this is okay. Uh, so label, uh, they are key value pairs and it can be attached to any, any Kubernetes object. Uh, in this example, uh, we are attaching it to a pod. Um, so they are used to organize and select and uh, select a subset of objects. And uh, this kind of additional label is fine. Um, the API should, uh, we should be able to create this deployment. So let's go ahead and instead of uh, QA.yaml and the Nginx deployment QA got created as well. Uh, so now we can run some commands to describe the deployment. And so we can run this command to d describe the dev deployment. And it's the same command that you would run for the QA deployment as well. Now, this is the name that I had given, nginx deployment-dev. Uh, so if you look at the file, the name of my deployment is nginx deployment-dev. And in my command, I run kubectl describe deployment and then the name of the deployment. And here you can see that uh, my labels are app equals nginx, env is dev, and my selector matches the same thing. And the image that I'm running is uh, uh, nginx 1.7.9. Now, if I wanted to run QA, uh, I can run. I can also run QA describe deployment for QA, uh, which is pretty much the same thing, except um, I have uh, three labels here, app equals nginx, env, QA, and release table, uh, whereas my selector is app equals nginx, env equals QA. Now we can get the pods. Uh, I was running two replicas um, for dev. Uh, I was running two replicas. In the QA environment, I was also running two replicas. So if I do kubectl get pods, I should have a total of four pods. Yes, and I have four pods and they're all running. And I can also uh, do some kind of a selector uh, with my uh, label selectors and uh, So if I do something like this, kubectl, this will only give me the dev uh, uh, dev pods. So I should have two pods at this moment. And if I run the same thing with envs qa, then I should have the other two pods, uh, the qa pods. Now we can also. Uh, set the image. So right now I will, I'm running nginx 1.7.9. Now what I can do is I can set the image uh, of the pod template to 1.8. Uh, so currently it's running 1.7.9 in dev, uh, but I want to change it to 1.8. Uh, so let me go ahead and run this command here. Um, again, nginx deployment dev. So dev, I'm moving it to 1.8. Now, so Kubernetes is smart enough to go fetch the 1.8 image and update the pods. Uh, so if I run the describe for dev, Uh, you can see that the image is now 1.8. So we were successfully able to update it from 1.7.9 uh, to 1.8 image. Now we can also scale the replicas. Uh, so instead of running just two replicas, I can run this command and I can have uh, six pods now. Uh, so dev, I'm... Oops,
so I'm changing the number of replicas to six and now if I do the selector I should now have uh, six pods yeah they're all running and I can also do a rollout I can go back to 1.7.9 uh, so because I changed it from 1.7.9 to 1.8, I can do a rollback, rollout. Now if I do a kubectl describe, And if you look at the image, it is now 1.7.9. Um, so, uh, so that's a quick and dirty step-by-step uh, -step instruction on how to do this uh, exercise. Um, and once you do the exercise, uh, be sure to clean up uh, the deployment and also the clusters uh, so that you don't incur any charges. Uh, so cleanup is very simple. Um, you can go ahead and de first delete the deployment. Uh, so we had two deployments, so we'll go ahead and delete the, the dev deployment first. And then we'll go ahead and delete the QA deployment as well. And once you delete the deployment, then you can go ahead and delete the cluster itself. Uh, so the cluster in my case was called Nginx Demo. So the cluster deletion takes a little while. Um, what I'll also do is I'll go ahead and put all the files, the, the deployment files uh, in a OneDrive share. And I will um, also put all the, the, the commands uh, that I ran also in the OneDrive share. Um, and uh, that's it uh, for now, guys. Um, let me know uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.